When creating customer invoices in CenterPoint, you have the option on the invoice to go ahead and select the shipping method that will be used to ship those items to the customer. In order to make the data entry of those shipping methods a little more efficient, we have set up a shipping methods maintenance screen so that you could quickly select your shipping methods. To set up your shipping methods, you can go to Setup and Sales and Shipping Methods. You can see that we already have a list of shipping methods that we've already defined for this company, but I've got a new shipping method that we need to add. So I'm gonna click New. It allows you to go ahead and select a vendor off of your uh, list of vendors so that you can produce reports of shipping costs by vendor. So I'm gonna choose United States Postal Service for this particular one. And we're gonna go ahead and put in a description of this. I'm gonna say United States Postal Service first class. So USPS, I'm gonna put in a slightly larger description than I did for the, um, for the abbreviation. I don't know if I spelled that right. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I've created the shipping method. Now, once you have shipping methods, you might also wanna default a particular shipping method to a customer if you happen to use that same shipping method for that customer all the time. So when setting up customers under setup and customers, I'm just gonna go into an existing one that we have, the Red Wing Bike Club here, and I'm gonna edit them. You'll see here on the customer setup screen where there is a place to indicate a default shipping method for that customer. Okay, once that default shipping method is created, when you create new invoices for that customer, so I'm gonna go over here to sales and customer invoices, um, when you go ahead and select that customer on an invoice screen, as I, you'll see here when I select the Red Wing Bike Club there that we had just been looking at, it goes ahead and it fills in the shipping method field for you automatically. That's a lot more efficient than having to type that in each time. It also allows you to overwrite it. So you could go ahead and select a different shipping method if this particular invoice is not the same as the default. If you had not put a default shipping method in on the customer, then this field would be blank and you would simply have to select which shipping method each time. 